Good afternoon and thanks for joining us. I'm Judy Simpson. As always, on the fourth Wednesday of the month, I'm joined by Mark Labar, conservation biologist for Audubon, Vermont. And today, Mark is bringing along a couple of guests who are working on a bird project at a Vermont high school. To get us started, Mark is here with Nick. Nice to see you, Mark. Always great to be here. And introduce this young man. So um, I've been very fortunate over the past couple of months, well, for a while now, to be working over at the Champlain Valley Union High School. And uh, uh, this past month, um, fall I've been working with two students Nick Durio is one of them mm -hmm. um, who are working on a project you know that we're doing there at the high school terrific well Nick tell us about your project uh, well it all started uh, with my sister she mm -hmm. worked her graduation challenge at CVU with Mark um, and she worked with bird, bird banding with Mark and um, when I became a senior I really took along the same thing I tagged along to a lot of her bird banding events um, she really focused on finding the Golden Winged Warbler. That's it? correct. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Which, which we've a priority we've, species. Yeah, uh, which we've talked about before. And this is the bird. This, so right on the day of her project graduation thing, we caught a golden winged warbler for her. So this is a bird right at at the Champlain Valley Union High School. So tell me exactly what you did for this challenge. Um, well, uh, me and Mark went out and we set up these mist nets, um, which is there in the picture. Uh, the, the birds fly in. Sometimes you'll have to entice them in with a, a bird call, so they'll fly in and then you reach them out and um, take data. You take wing length, weight, um, you sex them. It's, mm -hmm. it's really fun. So, so that was, you know, and we've shown bird band before. That was a chickadee caught in a net. And which looks, you know, a little dramatic, but, but the I, birds are fine. I handled more than 15,000 birds and taken them out. Mm -hmm. And Nick, talk about these guys. We, we had a couple really <laughs> cool birds that we caught there, too. Yeah, um, actually one of the bird, one of the chickadees that we captured, recaptured, was banded previously by Mark. Mm -hmm. So it was back in what? Uh, 2014 or yeah. 2015. Really? Yeah, we actually caught, what was it, maybe four or five different birds that I had banded yeah. over the year. So a resident population of chickadees that were floating around, but it was good to see that they were still around and those bands tell us um, when we last caught them and, and who caught them. Now tell us a little bit about your work with CVU, Mark. So it's been great. Over the past four or five years, uh, CVU um, has a great campus. They've got golden winged warblers there. They're looking to move forward with management. And in particular, I've been working with a teacher, uh, uh, Dave Trevelthick, mm -hmm. who is part of their sustainability program. Uh, and so uh, they do all sorts of things from uh, various different plantings to opportunities now with bird banding, some other things. I think we have a picture of, of the three of us out there with Dave. And mm -hmm. Dave would show up. He was out there regularly. Um, it was a beard competition, but Dave won uh, <laughs> totally. Um, and uh, he was he just great organizing that and working with the students and getting the school on board to be part of the project as well. So Nick, tell us a little bit about what it's like to hold th these birds, because they're oh, so tiny. Yeah, it's incredible. I mean, oftentimes you see these birds so far away. Mm -hmm. So like you don't get to see the detail up close, but like holding them in your hand is really special. And, and like, what, did anything surprise you about them? how light they were. I really? mean, like, when you, you see these birds and you, like, lift them, like, you don't expect them to be weightless, but, I mean, I guess that's why they what can was, fly. What yeah. was the smallest bird you worked with? Uh, it was the ruby-crowned kinglet. Yeah, so we caught a bunch of those chickadees, mm -hmm. and um, actually, you know, um, Nick ended up in the school newspaper holding <laughs> one of those chickadees, and then we caught these guys, yeah. and you can see these guys are tiny. Yeah, they're, it's like six or seven grams um, compared to like a chickadee which is like 12 so it's like half the size of that the tiny little bird and um, they have these red red ruby colored feathers on top of their heads mm -hmm. and um, the males do so when when they're mating they they put the can lift those feathers up to attract their mates which is 
Really cool. So, you know, it was interesting because uh, we did catch a couple of ruby crowns, and that was a great shot of the male. Those males mm -hmm. will just, like, stand those babies right up during the breeding season. And it's one way that we can um, actually sex the birds. Uh, but Nick's been great. Um, you know, his project will continue through the winter. We hope to do some more banding there. And we'll actually be doing some... Um, actual maintenance or management on the property this winter to enhance it for golden wing warblers by yeah. removing, removing invasive species. Yeah, yeah. which was Plants. what what her sister, what, what Nick's sister focused on um, the year before. So we're kind of continuing on and again CBU has been a great partner. So there's a lot going on. Yeah, yeah. And so you also had another student join you at the banding table. Yeah, so, you know, one of the things um, we did was I worked with both Nick and a student by the name of Charlie Harder. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, you spend a lot of time with these students. And uh, they, uh, you know, working out right there at CVU, right behind the, uh, the bleachers uh, and the football field. So mm -hmm. it's kind of an interesting place. Um, and the goal is basically to work with them and get them to the point where they feel comfortable um, handling the birds uh, and uh, taking all the measurements, looking at how the uh, measurements are. Probably one of the tougher <laughs> challenges was this is a film container and this is what we use to actually weigh the birds. And it didn't bother them to be. <laughs> no, they pop right in and they pop right out. But sometimes getting them into that container can be a little bit tricky. So mm -hmm. they have a tendency to, to mosey away really quickly as they fly out of your hands. Mm -hmm. but, but, that's, but that's okay. So they got their hands dirty doing a whole bunch of different different things um, around and hopefully learn some bird biology as well. Terrific. Now, uh, who we have, have have joining us now? You can introduce us. So my next guest is Charlie Harder. Mm -hmm. um, and I've known Charlie for some time uh, back probably three, four years ago. He's joined us on a Christmas bird count mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, going to school at CVU. I just put it out there, did he want to join us uh, out there? And sure enough, we had both of them out there working. So terrific. Um, Charlie's been um, fun to have around. Well, welcome, Charlie. It's great to Thank see you, you again. I know I did a story on you a few years ago as well because mm -hmm. of your interest in birds. Um, you have something in common, too. We do. Yeah. So both Charlie and I, and we'll hold up our, our books, Charlie and I have signed books by David Sibley. Tell me about David Sibley. So David Sibley showed up to Audubon. He did a presentation, and Charlie was able to join us uh, the day after, I think it was, right, when he came down. And you can see Charlie brought, it looks like you brought every single one of the <laughs> bird books that you own. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, and David was kind enough to uh, sign the books for us. So we both have signed copies of uh, Sibley's Guide, which as folks know is the um, pretty much the premier birding guide now. Uh, I got my older version signed, so I have the first edition, and, and uh, Charlie's a little bit more up to date with the second uh, edition. Yeah, so this, he, is, this is really a big deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he was able to draw a little shrike for me, too, just in like all of 20 seconds. Yeah, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because all, all of the pictures in these bird guides are hand-drawn by David Sibley. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, that little shrike there, he just cranked out and, <laughs> you know, as a younger birder, as somebody that's just getting into the birding realm and all of this stuff, it's great to see that, um, you know, that cooperation and just getting him excited. I know Charlie was, uh, I, I thought you were pretty excited that yeah. day when David showed up, so. Well, that was terrific. great. Charlie, how did you get into birding? Well, in second grade, I did a project where we each had to select a bird to draw and study, and I chose the Cooper's Hawk. And um, so I made like a little poster, a drawing, and then I had to write down facts about it. Mm -hmm. And then I really enjoyed that, and I got into birds. And then I got my grandmother gave me a sib my first Sibley bird guide. And there you are with your Cooper's Hawk. Yes, exactly. Yes, yeah. yes exactly. <laughs> yeah, so I was really interested in that. And now, I understand you got to do some birding, uh, some bird banding as well. Yes, yeah, I did. We went out in the mornings uh, before school and were able to catch some pretty neat birds. Mm -hmm. And tell me a little bit about the birds that you did catch. Well, we caught some chickadees. We also caught a cardinal, which yep. are very feisty, big big beaks, um, and then we also caught 
think, a species of warbler, right? Once? We did. We did. We caught a yellow-rumped warbler, and we also caught a chickadee. Now, one thing you have to remember for both Nick and Charlie, they have to listen to me talk. I, I don't know what I was saying in that last picture, maybe a story about some big <laughs> bird that I banded or something like that, but that, that was the only uh, probably, tr you know, difficult part of the mornings was to hear my stories over and over again, which many of our viewers have heard as well. Mm -hmm. Charlie, tell me a little bit about what, what it is that you do when you band a bird. I know that they, they're in the mist nets, but yes. um, how did you learn how to handle them so that they wouldn't get injured? Mm -hmm. So what he was showing us is how to, you have to like very carefully take the nets out like under the wings and then over the head. And then once the bird is out, you take it over to the banding station and then we put a band on it and record the number on the band. Mm -hmm. And then we size the wing, we sex the bird, and uh, find out how old it is if we can. Sometimes those parts aren't as easy, and then we weigh the bird. Mm -hmm. And then once all of that's done, we, can, we have a little sheet where we record the data, and then we can release, release the birds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and releasing the birds is, is the best part because you know that birds can, and you know the bands that we put them have unique numbers on them. And so, for instance, with the chickadees, once you recapture them, uh, we can, you know, get different information like life expectancy and you know how long they're going to live. Certain times of the year, we can find different things. Um, for the golden wing warblers, we'll be going back there. And we'll be looking for that same bird we banded with Natalie, Nick's sister. Mm -hmm. And um, so that'll just tell us whether these birds are coming back to the same place. What is it about birds that you like the most, Charlie? Why, why, why this interest, do you think? Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, I knew from a young age that I really enjoyed like learning about them and reading information. I would like literally go to bed with a bird book and look at the different species and start to memorize what they looked like mm -hmm. and the different characteristics. Yeah. yeah, so this is, you know, this, you know, both Nick and Charlie are kind of like the future, you know, and one of the great things about working with students and, and having them get that hands-on experience uh, just gives them that, I call it the wow factor, where, you know, you get to see some of these things that you look at through binoculars and all of a sudden there it is. Uh, in your, you know, your hand. And, uh, you know, Charlie's been birding at some pretty exotic places. Mm -hmm. um, you were in, you got a chance to bird in Africa. And Botswana. In mm -hmm. Botswana, yeah. so. And so what kind of birds did you see there? Well, over the trip we were in something called the Okavango Delta, and I saw 120 species of birds in wow. like the week that we were there. In one week? In one week, yeah. And so, oh my gosh, we saw Marshall Eagle was one of the highlights, huge eagle uh, able of taking down like little antelopes and stuff, so. Wow, yeah. that's yeah. crazy. So. A lot different from Vermont. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, and the little kinglets and chickadees that we work with. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, it's funny because um, taking birds out of the net is, uh, and is always a tough thing. And Nick uh, showed in one last picture I think we have is uh, of one of the more ferocious birds uh, that you find, um, you know, in the, uh, you know, out there, which is um, a cardinals, I think as Nick had mm -hmm. said. And those cardinals have an extreme, what did we have to do in order to keep the cardinals from biting us? We put a stick in its mouth to, uh, really? to keep it busy so it wouldn't attack our hands. I didn't realize they were that aggressive. Oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah, and loud, <laughs> and loud. Yeah. And uh, they will squawk and squeal and, and, you know, they're perfectly fine as we remove them. Mm -hmm. But they also have a tendency to get your fingers with that big seed nipping bill. So uh, they let me um, band that <laughs> when, we, when we did that. But again, it's a great experience, and uh, you know, hopefully, once we do this work, we'll we'll be coming back to across the fence and mm -hmm. talking a little bit more about it. Um, I really want to thank Charlie and Nick for helping me out. It, it's fun. It gets me out of the office, and mm -hmm. I get to go and bird. And we, you know, we got just enough birds to keep everybody busy and hopefully keep folks excited about um, doing some more. Terrific.
Well, I want to thank you for joining us today. If you have a bird-related question, you can contact Mark at Audubon, Vermont, 255 Sherman Hollow Road in Huntington. The zip code is 05462. You can also email your questions to Mark. His email address is mlabar at audubon.org. Send Mark your questions, and he'll try to find answers for you on an upcoming edition of Bird Notes. Thanks again for joining us. Good. That's our program for today. I'm Judy Simpson. I'll see you again next time on Across the Fence.